another Saturday morning jog or run. The 5k time is getting better, but what's not getting better is the rain. It's raining now, as you can probably tell. I read recently that rainwater in many parts of the world is actually too unsafe to drink, too full of pollutants and chemicals and harmful substances to ingest. I just think about how shocking that is, but something as natural as rain, water cycle has been corrupted by environmental devastation and damage. And you have to ask, why is that? And once again, the answer is capitalism. You quite easily change the processes that affect rainwater, that affect how we treat our environment, affect how we manage our sewage, affect the things we put into the air via our burning of fossil fuels. But money, matters more than people, profits matter more than people. And so as a result, our environment is in the hands of a select group with a direct interest of raising profits, and revenue for their corporations. Now, we could change this quite easily through a better system, a system owned by workers, a system that allows direct democracy and control over the masses. But that system cannot come we have the capitalist infrastructure dictating our lives. It's quite a simple proposition. If you think that, you know, whilst we have capitalism, the market interests dictate everything. So even executives who want to see climate action are chained by the for-profit system. If they don't act in the interests of their corporate shares and figures, they're going to be replaced, they're going to get sacked and be installed for someone else who you know, cares more for a line and a graph. Let's look at the right-wing movements you see today. There are plenty of conservatives who, even though they have flawed ideas about the world, even though they have an idea of tax and you know, property and stuff that isn't compatible with what we know to be fair, still care about the environment and still want to have a, a fairly livable world. But they're largely not in charge anymore. They're replaced by people who have less care for the environment and more for the right-wing version of society that they idealise. And this isn't by mistake, this is the direct action and consequence of capitalism. When capitalism is faced with threat, it turns to fascism, it turns to worse systems, it turns to more oppression. And so, as a result, you know, we're left with a pretty dire situation. Like, the fact is, across the globe, Right-wing governments are becoming more right-wing. Right-wing governments are turning to fascism, they're turning to more extreme measures. Look at the crackdown on protests and climate activism. Look at the crackdown on taxation, on economic rights, workers' rights, right to strike. Look at the way the planet's heading in general, with more bigotry, some more discrimination, there's less care for what's going on in the world. And it's no, con it's no accident, it's a consequence of the capitalist system. Every decision that's taken to worsen the planet isn't some fluke or some mistake by an evil person, but the direct consequence of a capitalist system that has encouraged the degradation of our planet for corporate profit. Think of the rain, think of how natural it is for a rainy day, think about how that's been corrupted by a flawed and broken system, and then think, what can change it? The answer has to be firm left-wing anti-capitalist action, it has to be socialism, it has to be a direct systemic overhaul of a broken and flawed system. On a small level, it will come through by just moving everything left. Every decision you can, see it as a fork in the road, left or right, and you always go left. Be it you know, voting in an election, be it where you discuss and talk about ideas, be it even just your own individual decision to, you know, to like, take an action that's going to affect something in a small way. Like, every action counts. Obviously, the overall goal is there, but Imagine, like, think of it like a scientific equation. Every bit of force you're adding to moving that boulder is going to make it easier for the next bit of force. It's going to make it easier for the boulder to be moved in the end. It's even though it's easy to lose sight of what could be done. I think every, every time you go left, things get a little bit better, even if just a bit. One day, we're going to be clean again. That day can't come under a flawed capitalist system.